Hello crafty friends, my name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And I am here today with a project for Not Too Shabby. We're going to be using the brand new stamp and die of the month to create a quick and easy card. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create, and get a few tips along the way. Each month, Not Too Shabby releases a new stamp and die of the month. This month is full of cute elephants and coordinating dies. Now you can buy just the stamp set itself or buy the two together and you will be able to cut out all of the images and the sentiments. I will have links to these products as well as the Not Too Shabby shop in that description box below. And there's also a coupon code that while you're there, if you find other products you like, it is 10% off most items in the store. For today's card, I'm going to be creating a quick background with some repeat stamping and then we're going to color in our focal point just a little bit. As I start the process, I will tell you about the other products and tools I bring in, but as always, if I ever leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! To get started, I'm going to be stamping those two cute elephants from the upper left and the word smiles onto a scrap of Nina Solar White and I will be using Memento Tuxedo Black ink. Now I wanted to make sure that when I placed my stamps I had enough room around each to use the dies, but I also wanted to make the most of my cardstock so I could use some of it later. Now I will be coloring my image with alcohol markers, so that's why I chose the Memento ink. And you'll notice there that I wiped off those manufacturing oils before inking up the stamp because this was the first time I had used them. I did want a nice crisp black, so I inked them up and stamped them twice. And now I'm going to set this to the side and let it dry a little bit before I color it, but I do have some more stamping to do. For my next stamping, I got out a piece of white cardstock that was four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm going to be using that same image as before, but this time with some purple ink. What I'm going to do here is create my own background. So since I'm doing free range stamping here, I got out my stamp pad since the clear stamps don't have that rubber cushion on the back. And I also got out a scrap of just printer paper that will catch the extra ink that comes off the edges. Because if you've ever used one of these foam pads, you know they soak up that ink and just keep it for later so your hands can get dirty. I just tried to kind of rotate my stamp back and forth and fill up that entire background with those cute elephants. And then it was time to move on to some coloring. To color my image today, I'm going to be using Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers, and I will list the individual colors in the description box below. I like to use these because all three shades you need are right there in one marker. I won't explain too much about the coloring because nothing I do is that complicated, but I will let you watch the process, so I'll turn on a little music. If you don't want to see the process, you can skip forward probably a minute or so. Once the image was colored in, it was time to do some die cutting. I got out the die for the word smiles and for my elephants. And for the background piece, I got out a stitched rectangle die from my stash. I love how the coordinating dies cut out the images and the sentiments. 
Also while I was off screen, I used one of the stitched rectangles on a piece of purple for a little mat. And then I also cut a piece of white for the personal message on the inside. And I did a little stamp off of that same elephant image. I also added some stickles to that purple heart. And I'm gonna set that to the side to dry for about 30 minutes. To add some more color to my background piece and to keep it from being just so stark white, I'm using the same purple ink and a blending brush to add some color to the outside edge of this piece. I just go in with a light hand doing some clockwise and counterclockwise motions until there is a border around it. Now that all of the parts are ready, we can get this card put together. I start by matting our elephant stamped piece with its purple mat, and this gets adhered to the front center of a top fold gray card vase. Since the gray is a little too dark to write on and to be able to see easily, that's why then I add the inside white piece for the personal message. The glitter glue is all dry, so we can go ahead and decorate the front of this card. Off camera, I added some foam tape to the back of my image and sentiment, and I will be placing both of those onto a stitch die cut circle that I cut from vellum. I just like how you can still see the background behind this, but then it also helps your image and sentiment stand out. To adhere the vellum to the card front, I'm going to be using some liquid glue and I tried to keep it behind where the image and sentiment was so you couldn't see it from the front. And of course to finish it off and to go with the sparkle on the little purple heart, I added three gems around that vellum circle. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I put together this cute, quick, and easy card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Until the next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box below.